Well, it's that time. I've decorated for Halloween. I do it early every year. It's always in September. <laughs> uh, here we have Clive, the zombie, coming out of his grave. Ah! He's atop of a bookcase. And then there's a big screen TV here where above it there is Michael Myers. It's a beautiful piece of art done for me by a dear friend. Uh, I like having him up there. He sort of looks over the banister and reminds me to finish writing my horror novels. <laughs> um, and then up here on top of this bookcase, I've got like a little montage of creepiness. And then we have right here my uh, six foot four inch tall ghost. I named her Diabolique. She's magnificent. She has quite a presence. I put some spooky things on my bookshelves too. I have a pumpkin that lights up, a zombie doll and such. Over here we have my, my homage to the birds. Um, I wanted to be able to continue uh, my regular decorating in the home, but sort of incorporate the creepiness into my sort of beach cottage place. Over here, when you first walk in, you find a bunch of doll heads. My doll heads are one of my favorite things. And you know, it's not hard to do this. You can get antiqued ones already that some people will sell on Etsy and such. But some like this one, she was a perfectly normal doll head and then I, <laughs> I got a hold of her. I painted her black, or like a dark brown actually, and then I put crackle medium on her and then like a skin tone and let her just crackle and peeled a little bit off here and there. I, I chopped her hair off to make her look kind of bad. <laughs> This is the mannequin head that I had uh, done for Julie and Julie's and my um, book signing table. We have a sort of an abandoned place theme, and these doll heads will be on that table too. I stuck a couple of chopsticks <laughs> into a plant and stuck some doll heads on that. Um, and then I put this creepy painting. This is actually a painting that my mother had done for me long ago. Um, it, it was taken off of its stretcher, so it's just uh, laying there flat on the on the wall. But it, you know, it's got some aging. Some of, some of it's cracked away. You can see that she had painted a painting under it before. Um, but it just gives this very creepy look, but still fits uh, my regular decorating that's here. So pretty cool, and that's Halloween so far.